Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something very easy to learn. This is called the fill and a method forward fill. So let's say we have some stock data getting from Yahoo and we have something called NAN, not a number. Instead of leaving it blank, I can fill this row with the previous row value. So let's say in the January 1st, 1987, the raw data is blank, it's not a number. Instead, we'll fill with the previous trade day's number. Just quickly go over how you can do it. Open up the command prompt. Okay, so I just go to my virtual environment. We have to get something first. We have to get the data first, right? So we need to import pandas data reader. As data as web, and I'm going to import pandas as pd as well. So let's define the date time as dt because we need to specify the time. So let's define the start time that we are going to get data. So start is dt dot date time, and then we pick let's say January 1st, 1986. And the end date is today. Okay. So date time dot today. I'm going to get the stock. Let's say the stock is going to be Hang Seng Index. H S I. Because I know in 1987, the first day in 1987 is a holiday. So I know it is a, so I know this day is a holiday. So I can demonstrate with the with my example, and let's start defining a data frame. It's called call it df data frame equals web dot data reader bracket, and the first parameter is the stock, which is the same as this one hsi. But since I just defined that, so I just leave it at stock. I just use Yahoo Finance start day end day. So it should be. Fine. And let me print the first five record to see what we have. I know that January 1st, 1987 is a holiday, so it has nothing here. Let's say I create a new table called DF1 to store the edited data of DF. So it's DF dot fill NA and then a bracket. It is a method inside the pandas package pd and the method is f fill so forward fill so i just print the f1 dot hat bracket i'm going to print these five days under the name df1 and df1 has just been applied a method called fill na with the method forward fill f fill so I expect to see the row from January 1987 is the same as the one as the previous day, December 31st, 1986. So when I print that, I can see the first day of 1987 resembles the date of the last day in 1986. Hopefully it helps for your data analysis. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.